Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1832. In this video and the last four videos, we're talking about the amazing lookup function. Yes, the original function before VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP, all the way back in 1979 in VisiCalc. And guess what? If you're doing approximate match lookup, this function is the one to use. So we'll see how to use lookup and filter to deal with multiple discount lookup tables. Now be sure and download this file. On this sheet, there's some notes. And all of these examples come from my The Only App That Matters book, of course, available at Amazon. Now. In last video, we had one, two, three separate lookup tables. So we used lookup and switch. But if you can just stack the lookup tables one on top of the other, then instead of switch, we can use filter. Now the array, I'm only going to highlight the first two because those are the only two that have conditions that I can match in the row. And I want this lock, so I hit the F4 key, comma, and I want to include Highlight this column. It's the same number of rows as the lookup table, so it will work. F4, and we want to ask the question, are any of you equal to whatever product is in the row as a relative cell reference? Now right now, when it gets to Aspen, it'll get a calc error. But guess what? There's a third argument, comma. If empty, that means that logical test is not met, then we're putting in this lookup table. F4 to lock it. Close parentheses, Control Enter. And for Bellin, looks like those are the correct two columns in the lookup table. For Aspen, boom, boom, getting exactly the correct lookup table. So that formula element, Control Z, is just delivering the correct table. And because we're doing approximate match lookup, we can use lookup. Now, each one of the lookup tables has to have the first column sorted and more rows than columns. All three tables meet the conditions. Lookup value, units as a relative cell reference, comma. And there, down here in the array, that's the table, a different table in each row. Close parentheses, that's our formula. Control-Enter, double-click and send it down. Go to the last cell, F2. I'm verifying that all the cell references are working. And they are. All right, in this fun lookup series, we saw how to deal with multiple tables with filter and lookup, switch and lookup. We saw how to use lookup to look up in a vertical range and return from a horizontal range. We saw how to use lookup in some product to do a single cell revenue formula. And we started it off with just approximate match lookup, but we only have two arguments which we rank better than 5 in XLOOKUP. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.